Hello, I'm Ederson Oliveira. I'll be presenting this video for dinandhere.com. In this video, I'll be talking about the opt-in module that is part of the opt-in package module that uh, that is created by Data Springs. So we have started in the previous video to talk about the opt-in simple, the simple opt-in module. Now I'm want to cover the the opt-in email. So we have we have discussed about the simple opt-in. Now I want to uncover uh, more features available in this package. And the next step will be to start using the opt-in email this time. Now, what I'm going to do next is I have renamed this page to simple subscription, but I'm going to create another one called full subscription, which another page uh, that I'll be adding the module that we're going to be talking about now. So I'm going to call this page as full subscription. And this will be available to all users. And I'm going to click update. I'm going to remove the HTML text from this page. And I'm going to add the opt-in email. Now, when we add those pages, those modules to the site, they get connected to each other. They share some data behind the scenes. And I'm telling you this because we will we will set up some features in the opt-in email that will also impact in the simple email in the email uh in the simple email that we have used in the second page so let's go back to the full subscription page and let's set up our opt-in lists now what what is uh what is this opt-in lists basically with opt-in module we can create different lists that people can subscribe to let's say that our our website, we offer two or three types of newsletter. Maybe it's a weekly newsletter, monthly newsletter, or maybe it's newsletters with different contents like promotional newsletter or new offerings or a video newsletter. So we can have multiple lists and people can subscribe to the list that interest them. So let's say that we can have a list called video tutorials and I'm just gonna repeat under the description video tutorials this I'm not gonna check anything else I'm just gonna save this and I'm gonna create another one called promotions so the person will have two options they can they can subscribe to video tutorials or they can subscribe to promotions or both of them so I'm gonna save this Okay, now I have set up the list. I'm going to exit the control panel. Now, if I go back to the simple subscription, the previous page, and if I go to the settings of that module, what I'll be able to see is under general settings, I can see that opt-in categories. There is two categories available that I have just created, promotions and video tutorials. So what will happen is that the options will not be presented to the user, but if the user subscribe to the newsletter via the simple form, what I can do is I can check the lists that the user will be added automatically. So let's say that I want every time that the user subscribe via the simple form, I want them to be added to the video tutorials because maybe I have explained that there. So I can check this box here and I can update this. So every time again that the user subscribe via the simple opt-in, they will be added automatically to the video tutorials list. Let's go back to the full subscription page. Now, this page with the opt-in module on it, it can also be used as a subscription pa page, uh, as a subscription form. So, but as you can, but as you will realize, it's a little bit more complex. It's a little bit more, it, it has more options to, to be available, not only from the settings point of view, but for the end user as well. Let's have a look at this page from a front-end perspective. You see? Uh, if I click full subscription, there are a couple of more options here. Yes, there is just the email address as there was with the original simple opt-in. But now I can also manage my subscription. If I'm already a subscriber, I can type in my email, hit go. And then I can say, you know what? I don't want to subscribe anymore. And again, there are more uh, text here. There's more text here. So if I go back, I can go to 
the dashboard of the opt-in module and from here I can see a summary of uh, some, some information, some statistics showing that promotions there are zero subscribers, video tutorials zero subscribers, that's fine, we have not uh, done any test yet. Now from here I can go to module configuration which I, there are some uh, similarities with the simple but more, more options as well. So let's say that in this form in this form from front-end perspective, I want to show the two lists that I want to make available for users to subscribe to. And I can also request first name and last name. I can I can hide opt-in management features. So I don't want to have that there, for instance. I can also uh, ask to always send verification email. That's important to send very quick emails to make sure that we we're not validating spam. There is also notify staff from new subscriptions and I can put the email address. I can hide the help icons. Again, there are a bunch of options here. I'm not going to cover them all, but just the ones that I really feel that are very essential. I'm going to check display label text box in the same in separate. Actually, I'm going to keep this unchecked. And let's let's see what we have here under email settings. Under email settings, we can say that the from email should be uh, from email from email name should be let's say Ederson Rivera, and my email address should be the from email. So if I hit update configuration, let's click exit control panel and let's try to subscribe someone to that list. So from a front-end perspective, this is what I'm seeing now. I can check the list that I want to subscribe to. Let's say I want to subscribe to promotions. And I'm going to fill out the information here, my name, my last name, and my email address. So I can see what will happen. Let's click subscribe me. So after I did subscribe, it gives me a thank you message and it says that I will receive an email and I must click the link to be validated so my, my, my subscription can be activated. So here's the email that I have received as I have subscribed. And if I don't click verify email address, the, the registration will be done, but it will not be verified. So let's see what, will, what shows up in the back end. Here in the back end, let's go to the email lists and sorry to manage subscribers. And yes, I'm here, but under verified column, I'm set as no, it's not verified yet. Now, what I'll be doing is I'll be going to my email. I'm going to copy this link. I'm not going to click because it may open in Firefox and I don't want that. I want to open in Internet Explorer. I'm going to paste this link here at the top. Let's see what will end up happening. Verification completed. Thanks for sign up. So it's confirmed that I have subscribed and my email is OK. Now, if I refresh the list, what will happen is that my email should be verified now. And yes, it is verified now. So uh, sorry. So yeah, it's here. So it's verified now. So that's the way you can set up a more complex form and you can verify if this if this is a real user, if this is not just spam, because the person has to click in the, in the link to get verified. So again, it can uh, filter out spam, spam subscription. This list will also show you that uh, I have subscribed to the promotions list and the date that I have subscribed. And again, the details that I have set up. Just a quick note is that uh, there's also extended fields that you can create. You can create more fields. You, you are not only limited to ask for first name and last name and email address. You can add more fields, although we want to avoid too many fields because people don't like to fill out huge forms. But you can add more fields if you want by using the extended fields. So th basically, this is it for now. Uh, this, this is a quick overview of the advanced features of the opt-in email module from Data Springs. Bye for now.